This car is a, a game changer. And opportunities uh, to really introduce game changers normally come not that often. So it's really an honor to launch this vehicle here in Geneva. The Geneva Motor Show is probably one of the best. It's very important for Jaguar and Land Rover because it is so international and uh, it gives us a chance to really get these cars out there on an equal playing field. And look around, you see the widest product portfolio we have ever offered to our customers. iPace, the first electric vehicles. Then we have next to me 575 horsepower F-Type or the new Range Rover and Range Rover Sport, the most refined cars overall. So we are really there delivering a widespread and the most sustainable product portfolio ever. The customer should have the opportunity to choose. And we're going to electrify on the one hand but also offer a customer from 2020 onwards all the electric options. He can decide about the degree of electrification. Well, the one biggest challenge with the iPace is because you start off with a, a layout we've never experienced before, you're not quite sure what it's going to take you. For instance, it's got a small bonnet on it. Jaguar usually have long bonnets. It's got more cabin space inside it. And the opportunity is the freedom you've got when you design it. It's fantastic. For most of the Pace family, they're internal combustion engines. You have a gearbox and you have a lot of mechanical stuff inside. So the shape is determined by the mechanics of the car. With the iPace, we have an electric platform which gives a lot more freedom. There's only small motors in it. So it allows the designers like myself to create a shape and top, which is much freer. The great thing with the interior iPace is because you have more room, we're able to maximize the amount of space that's usable. There's more leg room, and there's even space under the rear seats because there's no petrol tank. So it's really about usable space. That's the great thing about the interior. The other thing is we didn't opt to put a great big touch screen in it like so many other people are doing. We've broken it down to small segments. So you have major controls, minor controls, and rotary controls that you can feel and touch and interact with while you're driving safely. I predict that iPace is going to be a template for so many cars you're going to see over the next 10 years. This is the new Range Rover SV Coupe. We've just launched it here at the, at the uh, Geneva show. Fantastic reception to it. It pays homage to Range Rover's unique heritage. It's a two-door uh, coupe. And in fact, our Land Rover DNA, our Range Rover DNA, does lend itself seamlessly to a two-door configuration, although it's much more about its modernity. And in fact, from a design standpoint, this is a truly stunning car. It's all the detailing is honed from solid metals, including the grills, the badging. And then when you step inside or look inside, this is a truly sumptuous interior befitting a vehicle of this standard. At Land Rover, like most other automotive brands, we are very much preoccupied with the future in terms of sustainability, in terms of connectivity and electrification, as will other propulsion systems, will play a fundamental role in making us maintain our relevancy in the marketplace.